Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I've told Jasper he's not allowed up. I've sent him that way. Uh, he tried to, well he did get up on my lap, straight on the table. So I put him down. Um, it's Monday and it's the last day of August. I thought we'd do a Celtic cross. So I've got some cards on the table. I've got the Mother Mary Oracle cards. I'm going to use the um, Archangel Power Tarot cards. Are we recording? We are. Okay. Let's use these um, Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've got Archangel Guidance out. I do have the Rider Waite as well. Let's have a look and see what story is on the table on this lovely, bright, fresh Monday morning. Okay. I'm going to have a look. I always say this, and I, I normally end up channeling beforehand. Okay, I'm going to keep it stum. I'm going to have a look at the story first. That's a really interesting reader. Both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is on the table. What I can feel is that the Divine Masculine, he's a little bit on catch up here. Um, his challenge is actually making that decision to change his life. But it does feel like he is very much drawn towards the Divine Feminine and her... Um, I have to say, like, her career choice, her career path. Okay, so he's a big supporter of what the Divine Feminine is currently working on, or going to be. Because how it looks, it looks... Let me show you them. So we've got the Nine of Gabriel, and you've got the Divine Masculine here. He looks like a farmer. He's got his overalls on. Okay, uh, he's out in the fields. It feels like he's out in the trenches with the team. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility and environmental activism. So I do feel as if the Divine Masculine is, uh, he is following suit, he's putting in some hard graft. The challenge is change your life, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. So here he is looking at this, even though it feels like he's, he's working, okay, um, actually in the physical on this, it's, he needs to stay determined and move, and move forward. Now, what's gone on in the past is the Divine Feminine's been resting, taking back her personal power. So she's received insights that come through quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. And that's the past energy here. And whilst in this past energy, you've regained your, your personal power. Stand up for what you believe in. So it feels like your confidence now, Divine Feminine, that you have a um, a clear view of your path that, you, that you're desiring to take. Um, so stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. So after this resting period, you're going to stand up. You're very confident and you're claiming this personal power of yours. The Divine Masculine can feel this and he feels like he's being left behind. The current energy is a Knight of Michael, but it's a feminine on here. Strong, committed, intellectual and diligent. It's time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion and sudden changes. 
So this is your sudden change, divine feminine, now that you're on uh, the right career path for your mission work. Now looking into the future, you've got the page of Michael, which is the divine masculine's energy, truthful, perceptive, analytical and blunt. An exciting new challenge is on the horizon for him. You have what it takes to succeed, review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So I feel very much he's, he's kind of like getting a, he's getting caught up with some homework. Uh, regarding whatever area you are interested in, Divine Feminine. Now behind the scenes, what's assisting this is the Divine Feminine in the Queen of Ariel, Queen of Pentacles energy. That's a really good energy because that is your, your business woman. Uh, she's all savvied up. So mature, practical, generous and happy. And this feels like the energy of the Divine Feminine. After she's come out of this resting period, I feel she's been resting happily anyway. That she knows that's how she seeks her relief from stress, is to go within. So nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful and practical and wise advice. So here you are, Divine Feminine, in your Divine Feminineness. Now we have the Masculine in the Three of Ariel, Three of Pentacles. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavours, working with others in, an, in a cooperative manner. You're like this, you're in the like music box here. Turning around on a music box that's wound by a key. How can you tell? I'm under a spell. I'm waiting for love's first kiss. Okay. He's watching the Divine Feminine. He's watching our every movement. Now, how this is affecting others, it actually feels like it's kind of um, divine feminine. It's it's about, mm, well, you're choosing logic over emotion. I was going to say it's about you having to do this alone and kind of taking that on board. So there's no kind of victim t-shirt, am I always going to be alone? You know, I'm waiting for love's first kiss and true love to turn up. This is, uh, so we've got you in the page of Raphael, gentle, loving, dreamy and open hearted. But I felt with the energy here, it was like just a bit of a sad situation that you've had to kind of go forth alone. Um, but your Divine Masculine is watching you behind the scenes. It, it does look like he has every intention of joining you. Um, but it does feel like you need to step out, shine bright, um, step into the light first. So gentle, loving, dreamy and open hearted. And I feel this is... Um, the Divine Masculine's energy, how this is affecting others. A new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So it's kind of like you know that you need to uh, step forward and uh, claim your personal power back. Hopes or fears is the strength card, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. So I feel you have to embody that yourself. Washing machines on. We have a decision here, Divine Feminine. The outcome is the decision card. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self confidence. So when you uh, tap into your self confidence, your own personal power, you're going to be unstoppable. And that seems to be the key. Okay, because we've got the Nine of Michael, Divine Masculine's awake at night, so he's waiting for something for the Divine Feminine to step into the light. Okay, release yourself from that which holds you back, your Divine Masculine. It's time to step forth. I said this yesterday, he's, uh, he's just a step behind you. One step closer to heaven, baby, means I'm one step Closer to you, there'll be no more living without you, baby. I'm counting each minute till I'm back to you. Ooh, breathe. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Okay, stop worrying, divine feminine. If you are, it's all in order. It's a lovely reading. Let me clarify with 
the Rider Waite. Nine of Gabriel with the Queen. She'll be the Queen of Gabriel. She's a, the Queen of Wands with the Nine of Wands. Look at you being this example here. Stay determined and move forward, Divine Masculine. You're being this uh, leader, this role model, um, to show him, really, how you can make it through anything. If you can get through this, then he sure. He sure as hell can get through hell. Change your life. There's a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. I feel like you're the change agent, Divine Feminine. And that's when the Divine Masculine will embrace the opportunity. When you've adjusted your energy. Okay. He's sitting there waiting patiently. Divine Feminine. You have to step into your Divine Feminine energy. It's the Nine of Pentacles. Self-sufficient. Self-reliant. Self-confident. Self-actualized. Okay. Are you really in this energy? Got a little snail there. Watching. You're Wonder Woman. Underneath there, look. Why are you hiding it? Feels like it's really important you step into this self-confidence energy, okay? Um, it feels like it kind of lifts a real big weight off of the Divine Masculine's uh, shoulders to feel that you're not needy of him, his attention. Um, that's a big responsibility for the Divine Masculine to take on. It's the fact that you need them to succeed. No, you are a success, Divine Feminine. It's time to step into that. And the Divine Masculine will do the same. He's following. Okay, so let's look at this past energy. Of the Four of Michael, you can see the Divine Feminine vest in here. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. And I feel that stressful situation could have been, you know, handling this connection. Knowing how to handle this connection. You need to take back your personal power. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence and claim your personal power. This is the past energy, guys. Yeah, there was um, confusion. With the Eight of Swords, you would have been... It's like you're holding yourself prisoner. Okay, you can get out. You can wiggle out of this. Um, so this was your energy where you felt you were trapped. So it's time to regain your personal power, which I feel the current energy is very much. It's 11.10. Just waiting for 11.11. Calling all light workers. Here you are, Knights of Michael. So the energy of Archangel Michael is very much helping you with your strength, your courageousness and your determination. It says you're strong, committed, intellectual and diligent. And it's time to move quickly now. Choose logic over emotions, sudden changes. And that would be letting go, seek relief from stress and releasing of uh, worrying. It says your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. tower it's time divine feminine wow look it just looks like it's time for you to i don't want to say defeat the world but take it on shine bright take it on with your energy your hero status you want to say that your wonder woman and the divine masculine does wonder exactly what you are up to okay an exciting new challenge for the Divine Masculine. He's got to put in some effort. He's on catch-up. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. And I felt he was doing his study. Um, he wants to come across as being intellectual like the Divine Feminine. That he's been kind of um, diligent with the details. There he is. 
the king of wands. We missed 11, 11, how do we do that? We're at 11, 12 now. King of wands here, very observant, watching the divine feminine, well, the queen of wands. He's passionate counterpart. You have a passion for purpose. He likes that, that turns him on. Obviously your sexy body, but you turn me on, you got a sexy body. <laughs> okay, sexy mind. Queen of Ariel, she's mature, practical, generous and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love, which it looks like you, you know how to do this now. Those you love, oh, well, you have a love for this, uh, this world and to be able to help and assist, not sit on the sidelines just watching. You actually want to actively um, but it says here, environmental activism. Look at him smiling here. He likes your ideas. He likes your approach. And um, he's wondering what Wonder Woman's going to do next. Okay, so nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. And practical and wise advice. It's nice, looks like you're getting ready for the ball. Just a small little table behind. Maybe it's dinner for two. Feels like um, the dress bell would wear in Beauty and the Beast. Waiting for the beast. Divine masculine, look, you're not a beast. <laughs> a sexy beast. Yeah, that's all right to say that, isn't it? You sexy beast. That's that's good. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Um, we don't, we're not going away from the Queen of Ariel. Are we not? No. It doesn't feel like the Divine Masculine has any intentions of going away from you, Divine Feminine. He's mesmerised by you. Turn it around in this music box. <clears throat> um, Queen of Ariel. Ooh, all these messages, signs, synchronisations, communication. Things happening really quickly for the Divine Feminine. Are you mature, practical, generous and happy, Divine Feminine? Let's hope so, because there's lots of activity that's uh, coming your way. Well, there's lots of activity, this activism, that's being um, emitted from you. Wow. Divine Masculine here. How he's feeling about himself. Well, he's mesmerised. Me what is he? Mesmerised. Do what you love, Divine Feminine. There's nothing more attractive. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavours because you're doing what you love and you've got such a creative streak that's running through you at the moment. Working with others in a cooperative manner. He wants to work with you. He wants to be able to cooperate in your corporation. So many of you are on mission work. It's amazing to hear. So, uh, cards don't lie. Mm. The Knight of um, Wands, he so wants to, the horse wants to, look how quickly the horse wants to gallop off. And um, the masculine here, he's like, oh, he's so, he does very much want to, but look at this, this is like the, the transmission of energy that I'm picking up on. It's like, what's, what's his sadness? Page of Raphael, gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted, a new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. Divine Feminine, if you're very much in mission mode, um, the Divine Masculine might feel that you maybe don't, you know, have any time for love. And that might, might be why it's suggesting that you remain gentle, loving, dreamy and open-hearted because there is a new emotional situation and I feel like you you only just kind of managed to deal with your emotions and get them you know um, in check um, and now you're like exerting the new found you <laughs> the new founder of you um, you found yourself and I feel to actually be able to open yourself up to a new emotional situation, and there's messages regarding relationships or social invitations. I don't know, let's have a look, because there's a bit of a fear on both sides about... I don't want to say that you feel like you've both moved on, which you have. 
you both evolved. Um, there's this energy of, you know, when it's kind of knocking on your door or talking down the phone. How do you deal with it then? Because there's been an adjustment here to the Divine Feminine accepting solo ship. <laughs> and the Divine Masculine here. I feel it's the Divine Feminine how this is affecting others. Um, <clears throat> picking up on the open-heartedness. Whether the Divine Feminine's heart is completely open to the Divine Masculine. Because I picked up on Beauty and the Beast. And that's the sneaky energy, the envious energy. So it's kind of like, why now? Because he's been watching you and following your example. But there's a, a bit of an element here of not actually trusting. Especially as you just found yourself. So the sneaky seven, seven of swords. Hopes or fears, the strength card. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and then this one, forgiveness. Might have to look at working on our forgiveness energy. Okay, because I feel like it's both of you that are fearing the talk. <laughs> so I'm masculine saying your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Yeah, the fear of the masculine here also discussing things, pointing things out. I'm going to get another one for here. Queen of Cups. Again, it's a surrender card. It's a card of sneakiness, past behaviour. So this could be actually the Divine Masculine who's really struggling with still facing the Divine Feminine. He's still, he's very much, he's not, well, he's still watching. He's not planning on not watching you, Divine Feminine. He plans on coming forward. But we have this Strength card here. Whether or not it's sneaky behaviour, because every time he's coming in behind the Divine Feminine, behind her back. Well, I pointed out here the messages should be right kind of in front of her face, although she's still not really looking that way, is she? So lots could be going on, Divine Feminine, it could feel like all of a sudden... There's a decision that needs to be made. Release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So it's your confidence that's lacking a bit regarding this connection and whether or not it's real. Um, and I feel like you're absolutely fine, you found yourself, but to have like your masculine come in, um, it feels like it could be a little bit of a dis disruption that you're going to have to handle. How will you handle this? I asked you to come off of the table today. No, I did because you're all kind of like, you're in a bit of a state. Would you like to come down? Oh, baby, don't cry like that. I don't like that. Don't cry like that. Okay. Decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Let it all just flow, guys. Set yourself and everyone else free. And just go and do you. Jasper, you can... Mm, he's just not going to... Look how he is, guys. Look how he's eating his side here. That's why I don't really want him on the table. You're going to have to come down. I know, but I want you to come down, and you're being so stubborn. Jasper, can you come down, please? No, I want you to come down. I don't want to keep picking you up if you're poorly. You've been biting all your side. You're not very good. I'm going to have to lift you down. You've got me on. No, seriously, I can't. <sighs> I can't even be bothered to read them on the floor. Did we even get a message 
from the decision card. Don't please don't keep coming back up, sweetie. Jasper. Okay. Masculines, I feel like maybe you need to rest before you take that leap of faith. Why are you praying? You're praying that the Divine Feminine gets this. Okay. I'm going to have to just let him do what he wants to do. It's just itching, continuously itching. Pulling his hair out. Are you praying that the Divine Feminine makes the right decision? And that she goes and claims back her own personal power. She sets herself free. It feels very much like the Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine, you're the one that has to set yourself free. Okay. Alright, stop knocking all the cards everywhere. Do you want to come down on my lap for a cuddle? Do you? Come on in. You've got your bum on the screen, haven't you? Come down. You're like all over the place. <sighs> I had Lily on my lap earlier. That was nice. I wonder whether or not she'll be showing herself for the reading today. He knew when I was going to turn the camera on. He came in from outside. I sent you away, didn't I? Mm. There, darling, please. Let's have a look at the Archangel Guidance, guys. Passion. This whole reading is about passion. There's so many ones on this table. <clears throat> Got lots of them here. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Let's read this card. Okay, where's the book? No, I want you to stand on my lap, sweetie, please. Mm. Playing it safe can lead to staleness and depression. You've asked for more happiness and definite di and definite direction. I've lit the flame of passion in your heart to lead and guide you. It's safe for you to take risks and follow your heart's desire. Ask me to be your partner along your path of passion to guide and nurture you. When you feel a strong knowingness alongside a burning passion, pay attention and, as this is my way of giving you information about your next step. Wow, I feel that's the Divine Masculine. He's the one who actually, he's encouraging, of course, you and he's directing you and nurturing you. Let's reread that. So, um, Divine Feminine, playing it safe can lead to staleness and depression. You've asked for more happiness and definite direction. And it feels like the Divine Masculine, he's lit a flame, the flame of passion in your heart to lead and guide you. It's safe for you to take risks and follow your heart's desire. Ask me to be your partner along your path of passion to guide and nurture you. When you feel a strong knowingness alongside a burning passion, pay attention as this is my way of giving you information about your next step. Okay, working with Archangel Haniel. Haniel's name means glory of God. Haniel can help you give glory to God by living at your highest potential. She'll groom your hidden talents. Interesting because... At the end now, I was picking up or vice versa. This is the Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, pay attention. Um, when you feel a strong knowingness alongside a burning passion, pay attention as this is the Divine Feminine's way of giving you information about your next step. So working with Archangel Haniel, Haniel's name means glory of God. Haniel can help you, can help you give glory to God by living at your highest potential. She'll groom your hidden talents and help you polish your skills. Then when you apply your masterful ways, then when you apply your masterful ways to your true passions, divine magic occurs. So divine feminine, you need to kind of take your own advice. Okay. 
Apply your masterful ways to your true passions and then divine magic occurs. We're going to get another one. What am I going to do with you? Hmm? Relationship harmony. Don't bite me, please. Seriously, he's nipping my wrist. Can you stand my lap, please? We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Your prayers for personal peace have been answered and you are to be commended for your role in ushering peace into this situation. Visualise everyone involved, including yourself, being cooperative and open-minded. I won't say an open-hearted. Visualise everyone involved, including yourself, being cooperative and open-minded, even if particular... Persons aren't usually this way. Trust, your, trust the inner guidance you receive and know that changes are sometimes uncomfortable, but often necessary. Ask me to help with any aspects of relationships that need healing. Know that all relationships ultimately have blessings, growth lessons and love at their core, even if appearances seem otherwise. Stay focused upon this truth as much as possible. Working with Archangel Regal. Regal's name means friend of God. We had the kind of the, the best friend card popping up yesterday. Regal's name means friend of God and his principal role is to create harmony and order in relationships. He has the power to resolve disputes and is often referred to as the angel of justice and fairness. And I feel both have to really embody that energy, that angelic energy of justice and fairness. If you find yourself in a dispute, ask the goal to act as a mediator. You come up with a creative resolution in which everyone wins. I feel there's this fear of talking between the counterparts in case they argue again. And they, they bicker. Okay. They get triggered. But they're going to have to test out uh, those triggers at some point. And it's the same with actually moving into mission work, Divine Feminine, which it looks like, you know, you're to go. It's go time. Set yourself free. Um, you are free to do uh, as you please, as what makes you very pleased and happy. Okay. We're going to get one more from here. Yeah, beloved one, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. It's very close. It's close to home. We're getting close to home now. The nitty gritty. Down to the nitty gritty. Beloved one. Love is in and around you right now. You don't need to search for it. Rather by holding loving thoughts and conducting loving actions, you attract and manifest love in all aspects of your life. Call upon me to guide your thoughts and actions to bring romance into your life. Converse with me regularly about your love life. I can help you fall in love with your life and heal and manifest wonderful relationships. Working with Archangel Shemol. Shemol's aura is pale green, like a springtime leaf in the morning sunlight. You can feel close to Shemol's loving energy by wearing or carrying a green fluorite crystal. Uh, I am going to get a Mother Mary card, just not yet. Just not yet, messages from heaven. These cards are more It's been a bit eventful on my table today. 
the boy crying. Don't like it when he cries. Card number 25. Changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. So it's like going again. It's most definitely going again and uh, feeling, you know, maybe, okay, you have to take that first step alone. You have to do it for yourself. So card number 25. You can be excited at new things entering your life or you can be worried. You hold the key to how you feel about something, so we encourage you to think positively. Be ready for wonderful new opportunities that are about to enter your life. They tell you we are right here by your side as you try new things. You'll be just fine. You will be just fine. Look at this, having your hand held every step of the way. Thirty-two. We light the path. We will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. Watch the signs that are being guided. Mm, there's loads of them. Divine feminine. Or they're coming from the divine feminine. Listen, we all need to listen up now, okay? So watch for signs that you are being guided. Opportunities await you in either your home life or your career. Make choices for exciting new possibilities. Select that which feels right to you. They want to tell you, we will show you the way. What's pleasing you, Divine Feminine? Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. There's practical and wise advice here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get a very old card and then we'll end on this uh, Mother Mary card. <coughs> Excuse me. Magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Magical blessings. To receive fairy blessings is an honour. And right now the fairies are bestowing their blessings upon you and your current situation. Fairy blessings are magical and can also be healing. Only you will know what form these blessings take. You can ask the fairies for their blessings at any time. Perhaps you have a job interview coming up or a, or a challenging situation at home. To do this, as the washing machine finishes and highlights that a challenging situation at home. I feel, is that you, Divine Masculine? Okay. Divine Feminine, you could have a job interview coming up or there could be a challenging situation at home. To do this, close your eyes and speak from your heart, explaining why you feel their blessings would be beneficial. Then wait. Patience is a virtue when hoping for a message or sign from the fairies. And remember, they will only bestow blessings if it is their will. It's important to acknowledge the fairies' blessings and give thanks. An easy way to do this is to leave some raw food, such as fruit or nuts, in your garden or outside your door. Wildlife can enjoy any leftovers, or these can simply biodegrade. You can also leave seeds out for the birds or pick up some litter. Caring for the environment is a way that we humans can return blessings to the fairies. The fairies are also reminding, reminding you that you can bestow blessings on others. Showing our loved ones that we care is a form of blessing, especially to those who live alone or are feeling lonely. A visit, a smile or a hug 
can make the world of difference. Just a kind and loving thought can also be a blessing. This card is also a reminder to count your blessings and to focus on the positive aspects of your life. Okay, here we are, Divine Feminine. And the Divine Masculine is watching how you change your life. Let's get a Mother Mary Oracle card. Our Lady of Comfort. I feel like I just want to read the beginning part of this. 43. Just my age. Okay. I don't know, the birdie cooing out there, sound like a pigeon, was reminding me. Just my age. Okay. Our Lady of Comfort. Even though you may not see me, I'm holding your hand. Even though you may not hear me, I am speaking through your heart. I am never far away from you. I am by your side, with love, guidance and protection, always. You are my own. I could not bear to be apart from you. Receive my message of comfort and peace now. I felt like with Jasper being so persistent, it's just like he's not leaving. He's not going to leave. He's right there. I'm getting another one apparently. Our Lady with the Moon at her feet. Card number 36. Let's read the beginning of this message. I have heard your heart prayers. I have heard you calling to me silently, in suffering, wanting to let go and grow, and finding that despite all your efforts, still, you must endure. It is as if you are sinking when you want to rise, falling when you want to fly. I come to you now, with the moon at my feet, and ask you to put your trust in me. I will help you outgrow that which no longer serves, so that what you struggle to attain now, through effort, in time, will come naturally to you. Have faith. What you want is possible and I will help you get there. Wow. Okay. We're going to a room now. Because I feel it's very much a masculine energy coming through. Let's finish with a roomy message, guys. Oh, man, this is awesome. Like, seriously, this is awesome. You really can't make this shit up. It's not shit, is it? It's like a, a real beautiful love story. Okay, passion. And we have passion for purpose, both of you. But to mind feminine, you're up first. Wonder Woman. He wonders what that woman's up to. Okay, card number two. That curiosity is going to get the best of him soon. Love like life flows through the heart. Feel the thrill of the flow and say nothing. To my feminine, okay? Love like life flows through the heart. Feel the thrill of the flow and say nothing. Rumi. Do you yearn to find your way, to fulfil your divine destiny, to know the purpose for your presence within this sacred body of the Earth Mother? Your heart is questing for deeper meaning. It desires certainty as to your sacred tasks for this lifetime. Your heart wants to know why you were born, for what purpose. 
you must know that the answer to these questions is love. I bring you your answer straight from the heart of the universe. Be wild within your passion. Do what makes, do what which, no, do that which, do that which, do that which thing. <laughs> that magical, mystical thing. <laughs> do that which stirs your soul, even when it makes you uncomfortable, especially then. Okay. For what is being truly alive, if not a decision to be open instead of resistant, to be wild rather than comfortable, so that at any moment we will be ready for the invitation of the Divine Beloved to come closer. I call to you now, the you that is beyond your mind, the you, the you that the heart knows, the you that cannot deny life. To that you, I ask this question, what stirs the passions of your nature? Do that, be that. As we grow on the spiritual path, so too does our ability to serve life, to serve love, to honour humanity and to offer a contribution that is unique to us, that could only flow in this particular way through the quality of your own soul light. Every light holds its own beauty and every light has a particular task to fulfil on the divine path of life. To help us remember this, least we get too easily distracted by the pain and stress that happens in life, we were given an inbuilt reminder. That reminder is our passion. We may think that passion is not particularly practical. We may feel, we may feel fearful that with passion there are no guarantees of success, so, or that we may even be throwing away a stable and secure life to pursue our passion. These are the fears of many a modern society, yet they are so misplaced. Life supports all beings based on their true nature. The birds are given air in which to fly, and fish are given water in which to swim. Plants are given light of the open plains, or darkness of the damp rainforest, depending on their needs for growth. Different flowers flourish in different environments. Bees have wings that are very small, but powerful enough to move with such speed and rotation that their heavy bodies can fly. Each aspect of creation is given what it requires so it may become what it is meant to be for its unique destiny to be fulfilled. So it is with humanity. Each one of us has something in our hearts that means something to us. It is irrelevant whether it seems practical or a recipe for success or not. We are simply meant to be what we are, to serve life faithfully from a place of honouring the truth of our nature, that which we genuinely feel passionate about, and to allow for life to naturally support growth according to our genuine nature. Where we get into difficulty is not in bringing our genuine passions to life, for life supports this, but in learning to let go of attachment as how that happens. We can struggle to free ourselves of the expectation we have to be something we are not. The divine path of love asks us to become conscious of and then unlearn the play acting of attempting to be a false self so that we may learn to simply love and accept our real self. We may even have a struggle on our hands to remember who our real, real self actually is for a time. Fortunately, there is pleasure in the journey of returning to passion that can make the process of self-discovery a sweet one. But we must be brave. Even in the sweetness of that journey back to the real self, we must dare to believe that we are not broken, that we are not inadequate or better off to be like some other person or some other person's view of how they think we should be. We must be brave enough not to believe in the layers of guilt and shame. We must be bold enough not to fear our passion as we dive deep within and explore what, make, what really makes us tick, what makes us feel alive. We must be open, curious and non-judgmental. That may be a subtle journey at first. We may feel as though we are looking in the dark, wondering if we will ever catch a glimpse of the light of passionate meaning we hope to find. That passionate purpose may at first be barely recognisable amongst all the should, cannot or must do 
of our lives. As we stay true to the path, however, that light will become unmistakably clear. Our passion will reveal itself to us as essential as our breath. We would feel as though we were not alive without it. How could we have missed it all those years, perhaps all those lifetimes? It would seem so obvious then, burning so clear in our hearts, that it cannot be more obvious that we simply must live this desire, this passion, this purpose, or else spiritually perish into a shriveled up shell of a person denying of life itself. No, that shall not be. Passion must and shall prevail. This oracle comes to you with guidance. You are being initiated more deeply into your life purpose. Your passion will reveal itself to you with more depth, nuance and beauty than ever before. If parts of your life are dissembling or do not seem to be working out as you have planned, these are symptoms of this passionate revelation. Be curious and open to what presents itself in the wake of the falling away. Be ready for the journey within now. You are strong enough to leave behind the need for external validation whilst you learn to validate yourself. In time soon enough, in fact, you shall reveal your innermost beauty and be witnessed and received, acknowledged for your innate value, purpose and divinity. But for now, sweet beloved, dive deep, be defiant and determined to honour your heart. So honour your heart, honour your heart, so your deep passion may be witnessed by you and eventually, naturally, make its way into sacred expression in the world. If you have recently discovered a new talent or purpose, or have been dreaming some big dreams, this oracle comes to you with guidance and confirmation. You are excited. Follow that excitement. Let it lead you into your own heart truth and onto an ever more passionate path of purposeful living. Wow. Okay, let's do this sacred honour ritual. Sit with one hand at your belly and one hand at your heart. Say the following aloud. Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, brother of my soul, guardian of my heart, help me witness, receive, and express the divine depths of my passionate purpose. With merciful grace, help me know my life purpose and fulfil my unique divine destiny this lifetime. May I be gifted with the ability to consciously recognise the guiding hand of love on my journey, that I may serve that same hand through passionate and purposeful existence surrendered into the great passionate purpose of the universal heart. So be it. Sit quietly and imagine or intend that energy from the universal heart, is, heart of love is flowing in through the back of your heart now and circulating between your belly and your heart. Any excess or old energy flows out through the back of your heart as a beautiful energy of love streams into your being. Stay with this gentle process for as long as feels right for you. You may feel emotion, sexual energy, or nothing much at all. Whatever happens or does not appear to happen is perfect for you at this time. Trust. Let it be. Wow, guys. Okay, that was an awesome reading. Um, Really, for the Divine fem Feminine, passion for purpose, um, following your passion. Guys, have yourself a fantastic day, and I will catch up with you guys soon. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.